welcome back. Um, today is exciting. We are off currently to Gravity FM, which is local radio station in Grantham. Yes, it's only local radio, so I don't know how far it's going to go, but hey, I've never been on radio before. Um, and we're going to go and talk all things coupons and money savings. Um, I'll film it while my mum's coming with me, so she's going to, hopefully, if she can figure out how to work my phone, um, she's going to film it all for me so I can put it on the rest of this video for you. Let's go. Teaks and sunshine, good afternoon. This is Susie live till seven tonight. And I'm joined now by the lovely Kaylee, who is a money saving blogger. Hi Kaylee. Hi. Thank you for coming in. Now, can you tell us what exactly is a money saving blogger? Well, I, well, basically I write blogs for a website um, that teach people how to save money, how to use coupons correctly, just where they can find bargains and deals and all sorts of things really. Oh, sounds really exciting. So what exactly is couponing? Um, basically using printed internet coupons or manufacturer's coupons and using them as money off products and items that you can use weekly. So where do you get them from then? There's many different places you can find them. You could write to manufacturers um, praising products, things like that, and nine times out of ten you'll get things back with coupons in it. There's various sites all over the place that you can find internet printed ones. Um, and a lot of the time they're just one per computer, but there's massive savings to be had. So when you go shopping, do you take coupons with you every time you shop? Not every time I shop. Usually I'll save them up till I've got quite a few and then I'll go um, with my mum usually in an evening and we'll do one sort of big coupon shop in one go. And you're allowed to give more than one coupon at a time? Is that you have to read the terms and conditions on the coupon. As long as you stick to the store's own coupon policy and you read the terms and conditions, then you find a lot of them are, um, well, some are one per transaction, some are just one per product, which means you could use multiple in a transaction. Right. It usually says it all on the coupon. Wow, I'm gonna have to start looking now. <laughs> so you, do you scour the internet as well then to find the coupons? Sometimes, but a lot of the time there's um, certain sites and places online where people will have already done that for you and they'll uh, all be in one place, makes it a lot easier to find. Oh, I see. So what is your ultimate top money saving tip then? Uh, probably having a stockpile that has helped me massively with saving money especially on my weekly shop so what is that what's stockpiling then Explain. using using coupons and finding items when they're reduced to clear and bulk buying basically you can I can buy items for ridiculously cheap prices buy a couple of them and then store them on my stockpile as and when I need them so do you have a room especially for all your stockpiling I have quite a few shelves in my utility room Wow. With items. So what kind of things do you what kind of things do you stockpile? Non-perishables mainly. So I have quite a lot of toothpaste, washing up liquid, um, laundry detergent. I have two children and a husband, so we go through a lot of washing <laughs> washing items. So yeah, there's a lot of laundry detergent, toiletries, shampoo, anything that doesn't go off that you can store that I find cheap, I'll just stock up on it. And what does your husband think about all that? Sometimes thinks I'm a bit mad, <laughs> but it's handy when he wants. A deodorant, I want a shower gel, and it's right there on the shelf. So you, you don't need to go it. to the shop, you've just got loads. No, I've got my own grocery shop in my utility room. Wow. <gasps> Have you got any pictures of this? There is a few, yeah, on my Twitter page. How do we find you on Twitter? Um, you'll find me on Twitter if you search at couponing underscore UK. I know it's coupons galore UK. You'll find photos, videos, all sorts on there. Gonna have to have a look on there then. We're gonna come back to you after some Sam Smith. Now, if you would like to get in touch with us here in the studio, 01476 577522, or you can give us an email, gfmstudio at aol.co.uk. We're also on Twitter at gravityfm972. If you have a question for Kaylee, if you want to know how to save money, then do get in touch. I'm sure she'll be happy to answer any of your questions. So give us a call. Let's see if we get some. That was cool. I was winging it. <laughs> <laughs> so was I. <laughs> I was like, ah! what's next? Right, I need to think now. So. I completely forgot when you said top tip. I was like, what did I yeah. say? <laughs> <laughs> so we need to talk what did we say we need to mention your blog oh yeah so we'll go back in and i'll say about um oh i didn't ask you how you got into it so we'll ask how you got into it okay and then we'll go from that and we'll say um about the website then yeah who do you write 
work for. So other people can log on and see. So is it lots of bloggers that go on there? It's just it's it. me at the minute, it's just me that writes for them. Basically, it's, it's, the pro, it's promotional codes and there's like discount codes for online stores, whatever you could go on, say you wanted to buy a free delivery code, yeah. go on there, have a look, see if you can find a code, go to say new look, put the code in and get yourself free delivery. But they also have like a blog section of their website with all sorts of things that people write on them and I'm in that bit. Good afternoon, Gravity FM. I am, yes. Oh, hi there. Oh, thank you. Wow. Oh, thank you. Do you want to say hello, quick? Yeah, hang on a sec. Hello. Oh, bless you. Hello. Am I doing alright? I'm winging it a bit. <laughs> oh, thank you. How's that? I've got my mum sat next to me with my phone and she's videoing it all so I can do it. Yeah, <laughs> video go back on. Oh, I've got to go back <laughs> on. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, sweet. <laughs> Bye. She said she saved a thousand pounds or something. We've got money on our mind here in the studio. We're with Kaylee, who is a money saving blogger. Now, I want to ask her how you actually got into it. A bit by chance, really. I had my second child quite close after having my first, and weekly shopping bills just sort of skyrocketed. And I thought, what can I do to sort of save a bit of money? Came across originally the American program. I thought, oh, I wonder if you could do that in this country started having a look around and sort of came across coupons for things that I would use and sort of went from there. So what was the programme? Was it that crazy couponing or yeah, something? Yeah, I think it's on TLC, I think, Extreme Couponing in America. They're amazing, aren't they? They seem to just get the whole shopping for free. Now, yeah. we've just had a phone call from a lady called Holly, who is an Extreme Couponer, yes. and uh, she says that she got a £1,000 worth of shopping for free. She did. It was last year. Um, she did, I think it was actually just under £1,200, and she managed to get it for free, and then she donated it to a local charity. That is amazing. Brilliant. Wow. Well done, Holly. Uh, any tips, Holly, would be greatly <laughs> appreciated. Uh, that I just can't believe you can do that. What about all the people in the queue while they're standing there putting all the coupons through? Do, do the shop got, assistants get frustrated? Sometimes. Usually if I've got a few coupons and there's people just start joining the queue behind me, I do politely tell them I have got a few coupons. And some of them say, oh, it's fine, don't mind. Some of them sort of move on. But I do tend to go in the evening where it's a bit quieter, just so it's just a bit kinder to people behind you that don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the shop assistants? Are they all right with it? A lot of the time, yes. Sometimes a bit confused of whether they don't know whether they can accept him or... But issues that arise are usually resolve pretty quickly. Do you go to the same store so they recognise you, or do you go to different stores? That depends on how cheap the item is in that store. I usually, once I've got a coupon, I usually scour around, find where it's got the best item to maximise savings, and then go there. So you don't stick with the same st store. So do you think then that shopping around is is one of the best ways to find a bargain? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, there's a bit of travel involved in it, but if it's a couple of pounds cheaper in another store, go and get it from there because it saves a lot in the long run. Yeah, definitely. So you do this full time? Pretty much. <laughs> so you write for a blog for? Uh, the website's called Promotional Codes. Okay, so you just search promotionalcodes.co.uk? Uh, I think it's promotionalcodes.org.uk. Okay. Um, and I write two weekly, weekly blogs for them. Uh, one's usually on a topic, I think this week's is how to save money when you have your first child. And then every Friday is like a Friday roundup of any good deals that I've found or that I've come across. And you also said earlier that you have a YouTube channel as well, where you post videos of things that you've you've saved. I do. That's um, quite new. I only started that about four months ago. Um, that's Coupons Galore UK. Okay. Um, I usually fire. I'll post. There is a coupon video actually on there that I did not so long ago. Um, I'll fire any charity shop hauls that I find any local charity shops I'll post them on there it's anything and everything basically so not only are you helping the charities out as well you're finding some amazing bargains amazing what, bargains what's one of the best bargains you've found in the charity shop I think just recently I found a monsoon dress that was still on sale and it was about £70 and I paid £2.99 wow Gosh. that was a bargain and have you worn it out 
Not yet. I haven't come across <laughs> an occasion yet to wear it. And you've got to let us know all the comments that you get. And people are like, oh, where did you get that from? Yep. <laughs> it's amazing. We're going to be right back with you after Bizarre Ink playing this, especially for Graham this afternoon. Last five, we've got that brand new song from Niall coming up next. <laughs> new song from Nile of One Direction, This Town. I'm pretty sure it's going to hit the top, although we think here it's a bit of a one we're going to have to listen to a few times, really. I think it's a grower. It's a grower, yeah. Although I do like the words, they're quite sweet. It's 24 minutes past five, you're listening to Susie. I'm joined this afternoon by the lovely Kaylee, who is a money-saving blogger. And uh, I saw some articles, actually, I was looking through your Twitter earlier, and uh, you've been in the Lincolnshire Echo a couple of times. Yeah, and they, they pick up stories quite a lot. And a, a big magazine, fabulous magazine as well. Yeah, and I was also in That's Life magazine at one stage oh, as well. Oh, getting out and about there. So um, one of the articles I saw was about foraging. Yeah, that came about really because I, I had a little blackberry bush in my garden. Right. And this year it just seemed to explode. It was all up one side of my garden. So I posted a picture on Twitter about look what I've managed to find and it's sort of a blog post appeared from there really. So you were telling people about how to save money by growing their own vegetables yeah. and, and getting some chickens and getting yeah. their own eggs and things yeah. like that. They were great. My dad had an allotment um, a while ago and I had about six chickens on his allotment. In fact I even forgot the design of boots for a chicken house. <laughs> My husband <laughs> bought me a chicken house instead of some nice boots. Um, but they were great and it's on average like six eggs a day. Fantastic. So would you recommend then growing your own veg and doing all that? Do you still do it or do you, do you not, not so, so much? Not so much now, but we did. too busy with the children. If you can do it, do it. I mean, you don't even need necessarily a big garden to do it. You can grow potatoes in a big black dustbin. Yeah. You can grow all sorts in pots. It's quite easy to do. So just remind us then, if we want to get in touch with you, you are on Twitter. Yeah, I am. You find me on uh, at couponing underscore UK. And you've also got a YouTube channel. I have, that's Coupons Galore UK. And you write blogs as well. I do. So if we want to follow your blogs, where do we go for those? Um, you'll find them on promotional codes, I think it's .org.uk, and there's usually two every week. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you for having and, me. And uh, if anyone has any questions, I will be sure to uh, tweet you. Yeah, and I'll answer them. <laughs> that would be fantastic. I really appreciate it, and good luck. Thank You'll you. have to come in again and near Christmas and let us know what you've managed to save, or yeah, send that. me some things and I'll... Chantel. I will do, yeah. Fantastic, thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon to Mark. He'd like to hear some Elvis Presley this afternoon, especially for you. This They Remind Me Too Much of You, it's called. Thank you so much. So what did you think? Did I do all right? That was proper scary. But that was fun at the same time, and Susie was brilliant. She was really made it easy to talk to. Um, she wants me to go back um, another day, so we'll do that. Oh, I cannot do this seatbelt. Sorry everyone. Right, so I'm off home now to see my little boys because he heard me on the radio apparently and was quite confused. But so uh, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and please subscribe. Bye.